Um, okay, right. so Tim, I'm gonna let you take it away because I just kind of talked about um, being laid off, right? As happening oh. a lot right now in the world. Um, you experienced that, but what I love about your story is you've had zero experience in anything digital or online or anything. So can you share your story real quick? Yeah. Hi, Michelle. And, and guys, welcome. I'm so excited to be here today um, and really just share my story. My story is probably uh, very different than what you'll hear. There's a lot of moms on here, There's there's, but I will share something. I come from the corporate world. I helped created a company that went from 300 stores to a thousand stores in retail. That is my background. Um, and they actually, like Michelle says, you know, you have specific companies in retail that are closing the doors every day. Um, but I didn't know it was going to happen to me because my role at my company that I worked with um, was very impactful. Again, we started and built a company from 300 stores to over a thousand stores. And that's what I was hired to do. Well, obviously, um, they came into my office one day and um, they said my role had been eliminated. Um, shocked, overwhelmed, surprised, like you cannot believe, defeated. Um, ego and pride was just like, how could you do this to me? Um, and then really the other thing that I, that emotions that went through my head is, wait a minute, I've been with you for 25 years. I helped you go from 300 retail stores to a thousand in categories. And you're telling me you don't have a need for me. I know I'm not the only one that felt that way. However, I'm also a dad of five amazing children. I'm about to celebrate my 32nd year of marriage to my, my best friend and my beautiful bride. And um, I get to go golfing every day. I started this business 17 months ago. And, and the thing about my story is, it's not like everybody else's. I just knew that I didn't want to go back to another corporate job. I live in California. I was flown around the country, um, five, six different states to get hired and, you know, to other companies. Um, every time I got back on that plane coming home, even though I was offered a couple of roles and these were, these were, if you're in the corporate world, these were the roles, like these were not sure. These were the roles that you're like, you're basically running a company. And um, what I realized is after 25 years, my schedule of leaving California Monday morning, flying on a plane to somewhere in the United States and not coming home until Friday morning. There's a lot of people in corporate America, you can relate to these roles. Now I will share with something with you. When I would get back from these interviews, as great as they were, I just realized one thing. My, my wife, who I always say is my queen and I always say, she's my best friend is because she kept me looking like a hero in front of my kids because I was never there. And as I grew older in this corporate job thinking what we do, we go to school, get good grades, sit down, shut up and listen. And I did all those things. And they still came into my office after 25 years being with a company at the age of 55 and said they didn't need me anymore. I think when you have those moments and then to, along the way in my head, all the memories came back where my two oldest daughters said they hated me because I was never there. I didn't go to my baseball game. You didn't go to my softball game and they'd be mad. But then there's my wife saying, daddy's not there, you know, hang in there. He'll be there. He'll make it. Don't worry, but they don't understand. So when I got to, I realized when I got on the plane from the interviews, I was like, I can't do this anymore. I've been home for nine months and you don't realize one thing. There's a lot of you guys that go to a job that's high stressed and you just absorb it. You're just taking it in. But I will share something with you. I was home for almost nine months, didn't work. And the deep compression of the whole weight of the world that was on me was gone. And I got to know my wife again. I got to date my wife again. I actually got to hang out with my kids. My kids, like I can share two moments with you. I never went through the first day of school. I went to my son who's in high school. He started his freshman year last year. I got to go to his first day of school. I don't know if you guys went to your kids first day of school, frightened, scared, and all those things that you're looking at like they're hanging onto your leg with dear life, or you're squeezing your hand with dear life, that you're trying to pry them off of you. I never got to experience that. And I know that your dads, you need to experience that because they need you just as much as they need mommy. And now I'm in a position where, um, I got to go to my son's school. And the crazy thing is I was the only, there was one other dad there and the comment he made, he goes, wow, 
you, there, at least I'm not the only one. That was a parent said that to me. And I'm like, and then there was some moms like, oh, who's your son or who's your child? And I'm like, John Hess, he's mine. He's, you know, so proud to say it's my son. You know, I'm so proud. But you don't realize the emotional thing is I get welded up right now because it, it's, it's once you experience that, like, ah, that there's such a relief, but the kids need you. I'll fast forward this. When I came and started this business, I said, you know what? I just prayed that it was what it says it was. For me being 55, they said there was mentoring and training and coaching. Well, I was 55. Okay, cool. I just hope it was what it says it is. Cool, check that off. It was there. And you had to be coachable. But I never did an online business before. And I'm sitting there going like, I ran a freaking company. I can do this. It's online. There's all these other people. There's moms doing it. There's I, I got this. And here's the crazy thing is, I did one thing 